A high school student was killed, two others critically injured after a crash this morning in Montgomery County. Fox 5's Homa Bash live at the scene in Sandy Spring with the latest. Homa. Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, we just learned in the last hour or so that it was 17-year-old Sana Vil who was killed in this tragic crash. Just truly heartbreaking out here. The 17-year-old was driving with two friends to school just up a mile to Sherwood High School when the car went off the road just before 8 o'clock this morning. And I want to show you these tire tracks right here in the mud. This is where the car went off the road, slamming into this light pole where Sana's friends have been creating a growing memorial. Well, I was awakened by a bump. Boom! And I jumped up and I saw the car over there. And then the road got crowded. Policeman, Burtonsville, Fire Department, all that stuff. Now, two other 17-year-olds, a girl and a boy, both seniors at Sherwood High School as well, were taken to the hospital in critical condition where they are receiving care. Montgomery County Police saying their collision reconstruction unit is investigating exactly what happened here when the car crashed into the light pole just before 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. It appears to be just that one vehicle involved. We do not know at this hour if speed or slick streets were factors. Neighbors telling us they have had complaints about this curve on Norwood Road near Nesbitt Farm Lane for decades. Joy Turner has lived here since her parents built the house in 1955. Even back then, this was a dangerous road and curve. There have been numerous accidents coming around this curve. It breaks my heart because somebody isn't going home to their mom, and I'm a mom. And it is heartbreaking that this could be mitigated in some way. I'm not quite sure how that would happen, um, you know, given that we live on a stream valley. But there has to be something that has to be done. A vibrant presence, very active in the Black Student Union and part of the varsity girls basketball team. Again, just months away from graduating. MCPS is providing support to students and staff, guys.